Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of What You're Wearing. I'm Jonathan. I'm Carlos. I'm Helbert. And today we're going to be talking about our choices for the best summer watch. All right, let's start off with me. <laughs> today I have bought an Omega Moon Swatch. It's not no, an Omega. No, it's not Omega. <laughs> it's not an it's Omega, a, man. It's a Swatch Moon Swatch. Yeah, yeah. with Omega branding, right. featuring Omega. <laughs> I bought an Omega Swatch Moon Swatch. Omega. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. So I paired it with a deluxe strap, a rubber strap, makes it very wearable in the summer times. The theme is summer watch, so I can wear this swimming, doing sports, whatever, bashing around with it um, on the holiday. Doesn't worry about it getting nicked or yeah. stolen. The only the only bashing uh, we're going to be doing is, is, is bashing with water. <laughs> yeah. No, man, you can't swim with this. It's got 30 meter water resistance. No, I think 30 meters is quite swimmable. It's good for surface swimming. Nah. But if, if your only choice for watch for wearing in the summer is to avoid getting mugged, then maybe you're not making a great choice. <laughs> <laughs> whether if it's whether we can wear it swimming, it's it's a function of two things: the price and the water resistance. <laughs> If you're wearing a million dollar watch, even if it says a hundred meter water resistance, you might not wear it. But That's if it's, true. If it's a five thousand dollar watch, and if it's ten meter water resistance, you might still wear it. That's, That's true. true. Yeah. Who who wears a who wears a mint green watch? What do you mean? It's a, yeah. it's, a it's a classic design. How did how did uh, this the, the, not, moon, the moon the the moon watch? Not a mint green man. Who who wears it? any watch with a colored case is just tacky. I don't know. I think it makes him stand out. You know, people wear, say, mint green trainers. Yeah, you could, you could, you could, you could be, you could be, you could be naked. That, that, that'll make you make you stand out too. Do you have anything else to talk about? Say about this watch? No, it's too boring. I'd have nothing to say. Let's move on. Yeah. Talking about boring watch. Oh, well, my choice is obviously the very exciting <laughs> Tudor Black Bay Fifty Four. And you call my watch boring? How yeah. does it get? any more boring than this one what do you mean this is the perfect summer watch look at the size look at the thickness look at the micro adjust clasp the rubber strap and it's also got 200 meter water resistance you can definitely swim with this yeah but you wear it outside and you bump into 10 other people who are also wearing the same watch just don't wear it outside just only wear it in the pool <laughs> I don't know, how many days in the summer do you spend at the pool or at the beach? Oh, every Maybe week. like every a weekend, handful? Man. Every weekend, man. When you have kids, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. Mm. Only on the weekends. You can wear this every day. Yeah, but why would you want to look ugly every day? <laughs> and I've got one more complication than you do. That is true. That is true. I'll give you that. I think one thing I had to say about the cheater is it's made very well. Mm. The fit and finish is exemplary for this price bracket. Yeah. yeah, actually, I, I love this watch. I'm, I'm just trying to bash you, but I love the size. I love that what they've done to, to downsize the watch a little bit to make it more wearable. Yeah, and I, I, there is one thing I don't like about this watch. Like the end links don't end where the lugs end. Now I've noticed this with quite a few two doors as well as quite a few Rolexes. Uh, I think it's an actual design choice, probably a design feature, but it's something that I do not enjoy. I think that's just your OCD. I think it's it's okay. It's acceptable. Another thing I've also noticed, not on this particular one, but on some of the, the black base, I've noticed that that dot is not fully inside the triangle. Sometimes it's a little bit off. Oh, really? Not on this one, thankfully, but I have seen it on some. Mm. So now that, now that I've told you, check your two-door black base, and if it is, <laughs> sorry I ruined your watch for you. <laughs> Let's move on. What about you? All right. So. Who said that summer is synonymous with going to the pool, to the beach, know, water everyone, resistance? Everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah. Are you going to and, uh, and are you going to sacrifice looking nice whilst uh, in the summer? No, right? Of course, you need an elegant watch. So today I have brought the Cartier Tank Solar Beat Mate. as water resistant as the Moon Swatch. So swimmable on the surface. You put a water resistance strap on it, you can wear it anywhere. It's sweat resistant, you can look light, you can look nice while wearing it. Imagine yourself, you know, going on a summer holiday in the south of Italy, wearing this watch. Right, Looks so nice. Let the fashion begin. That is a horrible choice. No way. I think leather and summer watch doesn't mix together. 
I mean, today's theme is summer watch and the fact that you put a leather strap on it, it just doesn't work. It just displays a lack of understanding. Yes, no, no way. You wear leather now shoes in the summer. Save, and you're trying to Why can't you wear a leather strap on a watch? You're trying to save the argument by, oh, if this is on a nice uh, rubber strap. Yeah, you should have then you should have brought the rubber yeah, strap. Exactly. Uh, man, uh, the that's point is to thing. show how versatile this watch is yeah. and no, what, what else gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in but the abundance in the summer is the sun and this watch is charged by the sun. Which makes it the ultimate summer watch in my view. You know what watch doesn't need to be charged by the sun? This is no, no. You missed missed the memo. A uh, big fail. I stand by my choice. It's a it's a controversial kind of choice. Yeah. Having said that, it, it is it is a nice watch in a vacuum. You know, not in the category of considering it as a summer watch. I would definitely recommend this watch. It's a great size, great proportion, well made, and the technology that they put in it, of course, very, very well made, but just in this context. I don't know. I think we need to change the paradigm of what can be considered as a summer watch. The only way you can wear this as a summer watch is ditch a strap, put it in your pocket, <laughs> that's how it works. And then wear another watch. And then wear another watch. <laughs> Now, now we've just talked about all three watches, we should probably pick the winner. We should pick them after a count of three, and we'll point at the watch that we think is the best summer watch of the three. You cannot pick your own, okay? All right, all right. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> so it seems like the Black Bay wins. Yeah. I actually do like this watch and I have considered buying it. Mm. It's just a little bit too boring for me. We all considered buying it, I remember we waiting outside uh, Watches and Wonder. After Watches and Wonder, we wait in line at the Geneva uh, Yeah, the, the pop-up store, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah the like, only time we've ever had to queue yeah. to go into a store. I mean, we bash it, but we like, all of us like it. Yeah, just me a little bit more than you guys. Yeah. I think in practical terms, it is a great watch. In aesthetic terms, it's a bit boring. Yeah, it's boring, but it's a timeless design. Gonna say. I'm not a very practical person, so... Yeah, judging from your choice of uh, this Cartier Silver Beat as a summer watch. He's gonna bring uh, George Daniel's anniversary and say, oh, this is the perfect summer watch. You're gonna look, you know... I don't know. I'm a big advocate of wearing your watches whenever and wherever. Now, I'll see you in the pool with it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in the pool.